So on to another good cause. Uh, listeners probably know I'm very passionate about making sure that we address climate change and move to renewable energy, things like that at all of our infrastructure and our content is delivered carbon free. We have a, like a broader initiative to make sure that we offset any of the, the resources we might be using and so on. So this next project is sort of in that vein and it's called energy usage. So the idea is it's a Python package that will allow you to measure the environmental impact of computation. So, you know, we've had like profilers like C profile and yeah. we've had time it, right? So that's basically the idea of this thing, right? So, but instead of asking how much time does it take, you can ask how much energy does it use? <laughs> and what you do is you give it a function, you give it the arguments and you just say, run this function and figure out how much energy it uses. So it, it sounds silly, but it, you know, it can <laughs> measure how much CPU resources say versus disk versus network it's doing and actually figure out how much computation that's taking, right? Cause at the time it just tells you how long it took. It doesn't say, well, actually 18% was CPU and it was this high and, and so on. And it takes all sorts of things into account, like uh, the, the loss of energy across the wires, how far you are away, it, the location that you're in. So it'll actually, the report you get is like, this computation took 1.86 watts of energy. And using geolocation, we saw you're in Pennsylvania. So that means you got 25% coal, 0.17% oil, 30% natural gas, 42% like renewable and that's how the energy was broken down for this particular run of that function. And it's equivalent to, say, uh, you know, like a certain amount of TV watching or driving so far or U.S. household consumption and so on. Interesting. Interesting, right? Yeah. So it's just a nice little package that you can point at some code that you're trying to profile and saying, how much energy does this use? Should I worry about mm -hmm. it? Should I optimize it? I mean, profiling is pretty close to giving you where you should focus your energy. But if you want to know, okay, this is most of the computation, but how much does that actually cost in terms of carbon or just more specifically, it's measuring energy consumption, which is also just something you have to pay for if you have a data center, then it's it's pretty interesting, I think. Yeah, we could get like maybe a flake eight package that um, uh, would uh, fail your, uh, your code if it, uh, um, you know, if it if uses too much or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It'll uh, outport, uh, output PDFs. You can run it where it doesn't put anything on the screen, but then it will, you know, save a report to a file or something like that. And does it yeah, include the running of the, I mean, how much energy does it take to run the usage, energy usage? <laughs> That's very meta, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if it, how much it, it actually is computationally intensive, but it is worth pointing out sort of because of that, it only runs on Linux because of the system CPU inspection parts of it aren't built out to support other operating systems. So you have to be on Linux to do this test on your code. Okay. So anyway, uh, energy usage, uh, people can check that out. It's, it's a cool little package. Now, before we move on to the next one, let me tell you about Datadog because this episode of Python Bytes is brought to you by Datadog. And let me ask you a question. Do you have an app in production that is slower than you like? Using too much energy, maybe? Its performance is all over the place. Sometimes it's fast or slow. But the most important question is, do you know why it's slow? With Datadog, you will. You can troubleshoot your app's performance with Datadog's end-to-end -end tracing. Use detailed flame graphs to identify bottlenecks and latency in that finicky app of yours. So be the hero that got the app back on track at your company. Get started today with a free trial at pythonbytes.fm slash datadog. Cool datadog t-shirt included. Thank you for watching this segment of the Python Bytes podcast. This video was made during the recording of the full episode. Visit pythonbytes.fm and get the whole story. Subscribe to the podcast and get the entire episode delivered to your phone. Please support our work by taking one of the courses at pythonbytes.fm slash courses or learning PyTest with Brian's book at pythonbytes.fm slash PyTest. Finally, visit our sponsor shown on the screen here. Visit the link on the screen and get the special offer for Python Bytes and YouTube listeners. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.